My name is Steve, and I just want to show a quick uh, example of a better way to rescale any of your maps, be it AFR, uh, fuel, ignition, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to Fuel VE Table 1, just as an example. We're going to click on it. And if you can see on the left here, these are my existing fuel loads that I have in my current tune. Now let's say that I wanted to up the level of boost in my current tune. And uh, the way that Greg showed was he would click on each individual line and rescale the map that way. And then he'd have to manually interpolate that. Now, in my case, I'm going to do this. I'm going to click on this bottom left corner icon. From there, it's going to bring up this window. It says Rebin Table. Now, from there, in this example, I'm going to go to a max of 300 kPa is my maximum load. So I type 300 and I'm going to go to, let's say, 280. I'm just going to kind of wing it here. This is going to be 250, 200, 180, 150, etc. So as you can see here, my uh, RPMs are fine, so I'm not going to mess with that. So now in order to apply those values, I click this icon or this uh, button down at the bottom right, and from there it will actually interpolate the VE values. See right there? Now I'm going to click over at my VE map. Please forgive me, it looks terrible. I'm going to go ahead and do the 3D view and uh, you'll see here that up top it actually kept the same shape that I had before. And then you hit burn to your ECU. In this case the ECU is not connected and you're done. The same thing works for ignition settings has the same icon, even has boost for your boost target table. You can do, this, do the same thing there. So this works in any of the target tables or any of the tables in uh, Megasquirt if you use um, in Tuner's Tuner Studio. Thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.